Hi everyone, welcome to Value. So today we're going to look at Rivian and I think this car company uh, warrants a second look because firstly the share price is down low as you can see by this share chart. Uh, basically in November the stock price was around $130, today it's at $26.70 so it's come down a lot. And basically it gives it a valuation of $23 billion uh, which probably doesn't mean as much until we look at the numbers. So if we look at the numbers, the pre-orders just on the US and Canada alone is over 90,000. So, you know, people love the vehicle. So that's also that's always an extremely, extremely good sign. Um, not to mention they have initial orders from Amazon of 100,000 vehicles. So that's going to keep them producing for a long, long time. Um, so, you know, they've got no worries in terms of demand. Uh, total planned annual capacity between um, normal and Georgia plants, 600,000 vehicles. So this is a company that has a lot of ambition. Currently it's producing about 5,000 vehicles since they started. So, you know, they are, you know, they still need time to continue to ramp up. But they're doing some really, really good progress to get into the thousands. Um, and in the, they currently can produce around 25,000 vehicles. It would have been 50,000 if not for a shortage in supplies. So, you know, you get the potential behind this company. And it's got a, a lot of cash to be able to do it. So, um, you know, you don't have any, you, you know, worries that they have to raise a lot of cash anytime soon. They are burning like a 1.5 billion every quarter um, based on this current uh, recent quarter. Um, so if we go like, oh, they're actually going to be burning that much every quarter, um, 1.5 billion every quarter for the, for a year, that's only 6 billion, so still plenty of cash in the bank to keep them going, and as they ramp up, so in the meantime, no fears around that, that's why I kind of think the share price just looks really, really cheap, because you're buying an amazing company, uh, with a lot of pre-orders, people love the car, like you look at the reviews online, car looks nice it performs nice um yeah like what's not like about that because it kind of reminds me of tesla uh that if a company produces a good product eventually uh the financials kind of find its way you know and uh into the bottom line where they start making um you know eventually you hope to make they make some really really good profits anyway uh if not they will probably continue to lower costs um as they well, not lower costs in general, lower losses, because lower, as they sell more, uh, their cost base kind of uh, gets covered by those revenues, so they lose less, and eventually they will get into profitability. Probably won't be happening any time soon in the next couple of years, uh, but again, they've got plenty of cash in the bank. They've got Amazon, who, uh, as you can see, um, basically wants a lot of these vans for deliveries, um, and the consumer vehicle, which people just love, like you can, if you've, you've probably seen a Rivian by now, and you know it looks like a really, really good vehicle, um, just the design itself, and they're going to be selling these, uh, for a very, very long time, um, they're probably not going to meet, be able to meet demand for quite a few years, so that's always a really, really good sign that, hey, they produce a good product, uh, they've got plenty of cash in the bank, uh, what's not to like about the company basically and the share price is extremely low at a 23 billion dollar valuation um, It is kind of like a steal because long run this company is going to do really well um, Short run it's going to be very very volatile, but hey, that's basically the current market uh, If like this is definitely one of those companies that's going to do really well in the long term Short term, it's going to fluctuate, but, you know, you decide what type of investor you are. Uh, but, yeah, like, overall, um, I do quite like the share price um, and, uh, and the numbers that they've just recently put out. Uh, so, yeah, like, we're talking about a car that's costing quite a lot. So, um, so where do we go? We have received over 10,000 R1 pre-orders for, for, for the U.S., and Canadian market with an average price of $93,000. Um, so as of, we received 90000 net or here you order some US, all of which attracted or advanced without paid in. 
since updating our pricing okay so yeah since updating your pricing they've managed to still get another 10,000 orders so based on that uh, consumers are still willing to pay up because um, you know even though they put up the pricing but these companies are generally quite luxury type vehicles so in general you know people who are buying them uh, like they if the price moves up just by a little bit um, it generally doesn't really put them off so it's good to see that even though they put the price up um, in March they still received over 10,000 orders in that time so it just reaffirms that there is strong demand for the car good design um, yeah what's to not like about it uh, let me know what your thoughts are like do you have you followed this company do you like what they produce are you buying shares in this company now uh, if you got any other questions post below uh, there's not a lot to really analyze in terms of the company because you know the vehicle's good, you know they've got a lot of cash in the bank, you know the factory's done, um, and basically can produce um, 50,000 vehicles if not for a shortage in supply uh, for car parts. Uh, apart from that, you know, everything is we're doing really, really well. Like, I, well, it's generally not the car parts in itself, it's like the chips. Uh, there's a big shortage in chips. Uh, so yeah like apart from that like I think next year th this company is just gonna uh, do them better because they've got the capabilities they've got this year to basically test themselves prove themselves uh, you just have to go on YouTube look up those reviews on Rivian's and uh, there's uh, really really good reviews the car just looks amazing kind of reminds me to, of the early days of Tesla um, and basically it is um, in an essence kind of going that way because um yeah like what's everything is in a positive direction apart from them not being able to produce to their full capacity uh but i think next year you should be able to see that um in all its glory right now you get the chance to be buying a stock a really really good stock um at a really really good price um until then uh good luck and be seeing